Hi, let's take a look at how to process a parent. Right now we have all the essential information filled out in the application such as company details, pay schedule information, added the employees, comp created components for the employees as well and completed all of the employees profiles. So right now to process a parent we just have to click on payroll and then click on parent. Once you click on pa parent you'll be able to see all the parent that has been processed or upcoming ones as well. You'll have a filter where you can see the upcoming and the previous ones. Right now, let's create a parent from scratch. So I'm going to click on add parent on the right hand side top. Once you click on add parent, you'll be able to see pay schedule. So you can choose the pay schedule. I'm going to choose for September. Once you choose September, whatever pay schedule you had already created in the pay schedule sections here will be auto populated. But if you want to change something from that, you'll always be able to customize this. So my pay period is monthly. My employees are getting paid once in a month. My work week is Monday to Friday. That doesn't need to change. My payday is the last working day of the month, which is accurate. My pay date is going to be September 30th right and my work period is going to be from the 1st of September to 30th of September and it's applicable to all of my employees so I'm going to click on process if you want to select a specific employee or more more than one employee you can just type all their names here so I'm going to click on all users for now and click on process once you click on process you'll be taken to a payroll screen. Here we have three stages. The first is the select employee stage. The second is the ready for processing stage and third is a payroll process stage. In the first stage, you'll be able to edit several components or overtime or add loss of pay. All the editing part can be done here specific to a certain employee. Once you're happy with that, you can move forward to the ready to processing stage. Right now, you have updates on whether the employee information is complete or not. So some of these employees don't have employee information completed. So therefore, you can see a red mark here highlighting the same. So for now, I'll just delete these employees from this particular parent. They won't be deleted from the system, only from the parent. I wanted to show you how an incomplete profile looks in the employee parent. So I'm going to delete these employees for now. If you see some employee information is incomplete for some of the employees, then you can go back to their employee profile, complete the employee profile and come back to the parent. Nothing would have changed and every action that you have performed here will be auto saved. All right. Right now we've removed all the employees with the incomplete profile. So now you can see all the employees in the parent. You'll be able to add overtime and loss of pay as well as certain other components as well. So let me go and add overtime for Uday Nair. So you can see here 1.5 OT and 2 OT. So 1.5 and 2 mention the multiplier. So right now 1.5 of the hourly rate will be the overtime rate. So I can change that as well and put three times. Okay, so the number of hours work for three overtime, I'll put as nine. Once that is done, it'll automatically calculate how much is that amount here and then we'll add that amount. In the earnings section. So let's go and click on Kartik Arora and edit Kartik Arora. So here you'll be able to edit the basic salary, you will be able to add certain components as well and then we can click on save and it will automatically calculate what is the net pay in the next screen. So I'm just going to put the loss of pay or leave without pay as one day. So after I put that in, 
it automatically calculates how much that is and then when I save it will display here so I put one loss of pay leaves out pay and then it reduces here and the net pay also gets a reduction because of this so once you are okay with your employees information here if any changes need to be made you can make that change and once you're happy with that you can click on next once you click on next you'll be able to see the summary of the parent any changes that was made previously will be shown up in the screen it'll also be shown up in the first screen but you can see here all the changes are reflected here there's a read only screen where you can just see if the information is correct now if everything is okay and the information is correct then we click on process payroll once you click on process payroll just make sure that everything is okay after that you click on yes once you click on yes it'll ask you to go and click on finish to finalize the payroll so i'm okay with this payroll so i'm going to finalize and click on finish and that's it once the payroll is completed and finished your payroll has been processed so the employee pay slip will be automatically gen generated for the employees and the admin can individually go to the employees and will be able to see pay slip as well so we have successfully processed a payroll that's all for today thank you